It just doesn't but of course, right. we can theorize and we can um, think of what other people are doing, but I think I have to be cautious here because I'm not in the heads of someone who has very bad plans for society. I just have the proof, the indirect and direct proof, that they are out there and they are out to get you. But the good thing is, and I call this a good thing, it's like, uh, how do you call it, a cat which is cornered, makes these crazy jumps. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's a bit like this, and actually I see it like this. Huh? You hear about a lot of theories about 2012 or whatever. Okay, let's just say 2012 is, is a new beginning and the Maya calendar stops and we don't know what's next. What I do know is that time is going like this, as if it's going into a funnel. And it's very near, and here it's hurting, hurting, ouch, 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 confrontation, Ooh, all, this, all this trouble, uh, duality, whatever. And when you go here, it's tss. And it's, ah, that's how I see it. It's like, it's like liberating, but we're now at that point where we get squeezed into that warm hole, whatever you want to call it, and it's aching like hell. Because we have these vaccinations, we have 9-11, and all these other false flags, because that's what they are. If you create false flag events, so people can believe you are actually making, creating a solution to a problem you created in the first place, like David Icke says it perfectly, it's creation or problem, reaction, solution, something like that. It's actually like that, so they found out, hey, we have to have to give them a reason to follow us. We have to give them a reason to protect from vaccines for your health, or we have to catch those terrorists, Bin Laden, and other bad guys. And uh, Because if you see, in American politics especially, it's one to two politics to lobbyists. So it's like one general pharmaceutical meeting instead of a political meeting. So that says a lot. Of course you have Donald Rumsfeld selling his aspartame, which is cancer, which is sickness, and which is everything. Of course you have this additional stuff in regular food. Of course, bio food, biological food is bad for you. It's the only good thing because it's not chemically based and it's not poisoned. But even while we get poisoned, there is a solution. Because one, we can see the cat making these crazy jumps and we know there's something going on here. They are so, their behavior is so hectic, so ridiculous the last few years, what I've seen. A lot of people are saying, now I know for sure there's something not right. Mm. The intuition is telling them, the proof is telling them, the whole reality. It's pushing humanity too far. If you want to push humanity over the edge, then one thing happens for sure. Maybe a few fall over the edge, but the rest gets a warning signal from the ones who fall over the edge. Hey guys, I've never seen it, but you know what? There's an edge over here! You know what I mean? <laughs> you haven't seen your cage until you know you're out of the cage, okay? Yeah. So, they're letting us out of the cage thinking they can achieve more. But it's the wrong move, which I call positive. Because humanity is being fed up with all these lies, and they're, for the first time they're seeing it's a lot of lies. And this means, it's the first time in humanity's history, there's the actual possibility of transforming a lot of stuff at the same time. You know what? The vaccine information which is coming out, the HPV information like Desiree and I got out in the world, saved maybe a few hundred thousand children here in Holland only, okay? So I didn't know what was happening because everyone was sending it out and copying and putting it on hives and was amazing. But the most amazing part was what came after that. Articles about the pharmaceutical industry. Um, articles about the side effects of drugs. Articles about how our health system is working articles about, about why it can't be more, be more any cheap because if you have these generic drugs which don't have patents on here is the word patents not patients patents they can be become more affordable we don't have to have these high costs in energy a lie free energy in medicine free medicine or practically free okay depending on what we want to charge what kind of society we want to implement in the future but this reality, this false reality, this bubble of money-based stuff. Money? You mean we had this, how do you call it, on a necklace, the, the beads? Yeah. We were exchanging beads one time, guys. <laughs> you think we can't lose this illusion called paper with a print on it, 
who someone else owns, the Federal Reserve, they can print it, whatever they want, and they give it to the government with a loan, and the rent gets deducted from our tax money, that's why we need a tax, and that's why we had this women liber liberation I just found out, because if you just tax one half of humanity, you aren't doing a good job, just give women rights too, so you can tax them, okay? Yeah, that's, Is that, that's why they gave women the rights. That's a nice one to think about. That's what uh, Rockefeller said to Rene Russo in an interview, and I thought that's a good one. If you want to give people rights, <laughs> you make sure you can tax them, right? <laughs> I thought it was a nice one to contemplate. Okay, but anyway, if this illusion, because that's a struggle, they want to have this much money and power, but it's an illusion anyway. It's get printed. Of course, if you would buy my book or CD and say, hey, John. I love your work with your illusion, I'm not going to give you anything, thanks. I wouldn't be very happy because I have my bills too. But let's face it, 